Deciphering dog body language is an important part of communicating with your canine. Dogs use posture, facial expressions, and other body language to communicate. Understanding your dog body language is a key aspect of responsible ownership. Dog body language involves a series of unique methods for communicating emotions and intentions. It can be quite different from how humans communicate. A lot of canine communication consists of barks, whines, and growls, so it's important to know what dog sounds mean. More often, though, dogs rely on nonverbal body language. That can lead to plenty of human-dog misunderstandings. Sometimes, dog body language is simply unfamiliar, after all, people don't have tails. At other times, it's in direct contrast with what that same signal means to a human, such as with yawning or looking away. To better communicate with your canine companion, learn some tips on reading dog body language. Number 1. Tail wagging. Tail wagging seems like an obvious body language signal. If a dog's tail is wagging, the dog is happy, right? Wrong. People misinterpret this signal all the time. All a wagging tail means is that the dog is emotionally aroused. It could be excitement, but it could be frustration or worse. To interpret the dog's emotions and intentions, look at the speed and direction of the wag as well as the position of the tail. Basically, the faster the wag, the more aroused the dog. Think about those long, slow, side-to-side -side tail sweeps your dog makes when greeting you, the type that wag the dog's whole body. That's a relaxed dog. A faster twitch-like wag indicates a higher level of arousal and possibly in a negative way. Think of a guard dog on alert. Number 2. Raised Hackles. When a dog's hackles are raised, it means the hair along their back is standing up. Technically called piloerection, the fur can fluff up across the shoulders or down the back and all the way to the tail. This is a definite sign that the dog is aroused, but not necessarily in a negative way. The dog might be upset or stressed but could also be excited or intensely interested in something. It's often an involuntary reaction, like goosebumps in people. Number 3. Posture. A dog's weight distribution can tell a lot about mood and intention. Consider a cowering dog that is hunched toward the ground. That's a sign of fear or stress. The dog may be trying to get away from something and the posture makes the dog appear smaller. In other words, it says, I mean no harm. The extreme of this posture is a dog that rolls onto their back exposing the belly. This may look like a dog soliciting a belly rub, and in a relaxed dog, it often is. But it can actually be a sign of considerable stress and anxiety. The dog may even urinate a little in appeasement. The opposite posture is a dog with his or her weight shifted forward. This dog is trying to get closer to something. This might simply indicate the dog's interest but it could also indicate offensive intentions, particularly paired with other aggressive body language cues like a twitching tail held high. In this case, the dog is trying to appear larger. An easy-to-read aspect of dog body language is the play bow. This is when dogs place their chest on the ground with their rump in the air. As the name implies, it's used to initiate play with other dogs and even with people. Number 4. Facial Expressions. Dogs have similar facial features as people, but they don't use them in the same way. Consider yawning. People yawn when they're tired or bored, but dogs yawn when they're stressed. According to Turid Rugaz, author of On Talking Terms with Dogs, Calming Signals, dogs use yawning to calm themselves in tense situations and to calm others, including their owners. She suggests yawning at your dog to provide comfort at stressful moments like a vet visit. But don't be surprised if your dog yawns back. Just as yawning is contagious in people, dogs can't catch yawns too. Lip licking is another bit of dog body language that people often misinterpret. 
Just like people, dogs will lick their lips after a delicious meal, but they will also do it when they feel anxious. Sometimes the tongue flick is so quick it's tricky to notice. Your dog isn't signaling a desire to lick your face, but rather discomfort with a given situation. Smiling dogs also display their front teeth, but the meaning is the complete opposite. Also known as a submissive grin, this expression is often found on a happy dog with a loose and wiggly posture. The dog's overall attitude says, hello, I come in peace. Number 5. Eyes. You can learn a lot about your dog's internal state by looking at the eyes. First, a dog's eyes can be soft or hard. Soft eyes have relaxed lids and sometimes look like the dog is squinting. They indicate the dog is calm or happy. The opposite is hard eyes where the eyes seem to go cold. These indicate a negative state of mind, and you'll know them when you see them. The dog might be guarding a toy or feeling aggressive. A hard stare, where the dog looks intently at something, especially for a long time, usually signals a threat. Eye contact is an important signal for dogs. Just as the hard stare can be a precursor to aggression, looking away is meant to calm a situation. When dogs feel stressed, they will pointedly look away and avoid eye contact. People often interpret this as their dog ignoring them or being stubborn, but the dog is expressing discomfort. Eye contact is an important signal for dogs. Just as the hard stare can be a precursor to aggression, looking away is meant to calm a situation. When dogs feel stressed, they will pointedly look away and avoid eye contact. People often interpret this as their dog ignoring them or being stubborn, but the dog is expressing discomfort. Number 6. Deciphering Dog Body Language. None of these dog body language signals act alone. They are all part of a package. So, when you read a dog's communication, look at every signal the dog is using from the tail height to the eye shape. Your dog is talking to you all the time. If you learn what your dog is saying, you will develop a deeper bond of trust and respect. Plus, your newfound understanding of your dog's emotional state will help you predict your dog's behavior and prevent problems before they occur. Number 7. Bad breath. Dogs aren't known for having wonderfully minty breath, but if you notice a marked change with even a little halitosis, it might be time to take a trip to the veterinarian. There could be something wrong with your dog's oral health. Number 8. Biting. Puppies may nip at you as they learn how to communicate with their pet parents. This usually happens while playing, as young dogs often communicate with their mouths when they interact. It may also happen during training, or for simply no reason you can identify. If your young one is nipping regularly, though, it's important to stop it before it develops into a more problematic dog behavior down the line. Number 9. Circling. Dogs who can't stop walking in circles may have a health issue. Yes, sometimes it's fun to chase your tail, but if your pup can't shake the compulsion, there's a problem beneath the surface. Ear infections may cause circling, but compulsive tail chasing may occur with bull terriers. Number 10. Digging. Dogs dig in the ground for many reasons, to escape, to track animals, to make a cool spot to lie, or to hide something important to them. However, some dogs dig, inside as well. Have you ever noticed your dog scratching at the blankets or couch in order to find the perfect place to lie down? This dog behavior happens most often at night and during nap times, and it is completely normal, if your dog's digging starts to bother you, or damage your furniture, consider working with a professional trainer to reduce this stubborn habit. Number 11. Sitting on your feet or between your legs. This is often mistaken for possessive behavior, but is most often a sign of anxiety or nervousness. 
dominance is rarely the problem your dog is probably trying to feel safer by staying close anxiety is often more than a dog trainer is qualified to help with so discuss the behavior with your veterinarian and see if your dog would benefit from a referral to a veterinary behavior specialist make sure to subscribe to meet me youtube channel to get more updates